Um, I'm hitting him with some critical hits, and man, every single thing I just hit on that guy was critical hit after critical hit. That was fun. Another critical hit, zero. Yes, that's, that's what I want to see. Yeah, so if you like this kind of stuff, this Dungeons and Dragons stuff, then like this video, subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications for more nerdy Dungeons and Dragons, Pathfinder, Kingmaker, World of Warcraft, Skyrim, Elder Scrolls 22 video content. Today I've got for you my Knife Master Vivisectionist two weapon fighting Kukri guy person. I don't know what I'm gonna call this guy, but he, he's, yeah. So with the new Beneath the Stolen Lands DLC coming out June 6th, let me know in the comments section below which one of my builds that I've created that I should do a new Let's Play stream through with because I feel like I have to start over because of it being such a big, huge thing. We're gonna do a new Let's Play. Let me know if it's either this build I'm doing here or of course my Kineticist Thug that you guys love or whatever build you want me to use. Put it in the comments below for that stolen, beneath the stolen lands DLC Let's Play Live thing. So, uh, this character here, we're going to go with Halfling because the Halflings get that um, the small plus one to armor class. I like that. I'm making this guy here look all, I don't know, grungy and stuff. It's the whole light theme and stuff. So we're going to start off actually, uh, first level is going to be Rogue, um, and we're going Knife Master. We're doing first level Rogue because we get a free weapon finesse feat going on. We're going to be doing the Sneak Stab Knife Master, he gets uh, D8 sneak attacks for his Kukris, so we're going to be using that for sure in this one. Later on, at level, f uh, when he hits level 4, he will get debilitating injury. He will also have plus 1 to light armor attack, uh, armor class right there, and some finesse training. It's really, really great, and he'll also grab Uncanny Dodge. We are going to put our Strength at 12, our Constitution leave right there for right now. Pull that Charisma down to actually 9. I'm going negative here. Uh, we're going to pull our intelligence up to 14, constitution to 12, and then put the rest of them into dexterity, making our dexterity 20. So that is 12 strength, 20 dexterity, 12 constitution, 14 intelligence, 10 wisdom, and 9 charisma. We're going to put our points into mobility, trickery, stealth, perception, persuasion, and use magic device. Now, honestly, trickery, perception, uh, persuasion are the most important things for this build. We'll put some into use magic device, but that trickery for uh, disarming the traps and unlocking locks, and of course, perception for seeing them is important. Now, our first feat that we're gonna grab here at level one is gonna be two weapon fighting because we're gonna be wanting to hit a lot and hit it quite a bit. So yeah, then at level two, we actually go over into our vivisectionist here. You guys are always wanting me to do some vivisectionist, so I finally have given up and started giving in. So trickery, we wanna max that. Perception, we wanna get that up. Our stealth is actually pretty important at level two, and then persuasion. We want to kind of keep those going for a while. Now, the cool thing here is we're going to get Expeditious Retreat, Reduce Person, and Shield at level two. So when you're already at O legs, um, you're going to have that shield, which is plus four every minute um, that you can cast it. And, you know, early on, maybe we do grab Cure Light Wounds. We also get our Mutagen, mutagen here, which is going to give us um, natural armor class bonus and plus four to dexterity. It's going to take some away from our wisdom. We're going to be using this dexterity most, but it's 10 minutes per level. So at our first level here, which is level two, we're going to be getting some extra armor class. It's going to help us out a lot. Level three, we're going to go for that Vivisectionist again. And here we're going to go for Trickery, of course, Perception, Persuasion, and then Stealth. We're going to go down here. We're going to grab... Martial weapon proficiency so that we can get some kukris later on. We're also going to grab feral mutagen here This is going to allow us uh, whenever we pop this mutagen and at this level We'll actually be able to have it going for 20 minutes. Uh, we will get a bite and a claw attack um, Right here, so that actually adds to our attacks per round and then I don't know I grab fire belly It gives you some resistance to fire also, we grab some poison resistance here, so that helps us out a lot. Now we're going to bounce back over into Rogue. We want to finish off some stuff here. We wanted to grab those levels and vivisectionists for the Feral, Mutagen, um, and the Shield that we got. We're going to put that point into Dexterity, of course. The majority of our points are going to go into Dexterity, except for levels 16 and 20. We'll put those two into Intelligence. So uh, also, we're going to go Trickery, Stealth, 
perception. We're going to fill out uh, persuasion some here and then get three points total into mobility in case we want to go for defensive combat to be a little bit more tankified. Level four, we're going to grab a combat trick, of course. And that combat trick we're going to grab is actually double slice. Now, I want to read this to you guys real quick. Double slice says that your offhand weapon while dual wielding strikes with greater power whatever. It says that you add your strength bonus to damage rolls made with your offhand. Now here's the deal, yo. Whenever you start getting uh, your weapon, your finesse training here, it actually allows you to put your dexterity and double slice actually instead of using your strength will allow you to use your dexterity bonus and it might add your strength as well, but I know that it's letting you use your dexterity bonus. I Don't, don't quote me on the might on the strength, but I know that double slice here is going to let us use our finesse training for our kukri dexterity bonus on our offhand. So double slice. We also grab evasion here, which is great because of reflex th saving throws. We will take um, if we if we if we if we pass the reflex saving throw, then we take no damage. Yeah. At level five, we go rogue again, uh, and we're gonna go for that trickery, that stealth, that perception, persuasion. We don't need to touch mobility anymore, and we'll dump two points into use magic device right here. At level five, we're gonna take combat expertise. That'll give us some extra armor. Uh, dodge armor class bonus. It takes away one of our attack rolls, but gives us plus one darmer, dodge armor class bonus. But here we're going to grab at level three of uh, our uh, knife master, we're going to grab uh, finesse training kukri. Allows us to use our dexterity modifier instead of our strength modifier to our damage roll. So that's where that double slice kind of helped you here. We also get that blade sense, which is plus one dodge, dodge, dodge armor class bonus against light blades. And at level six, we're going to take our fourth and final level of knife master rogue. Trickery, Stealth, Perception, Persuasion, Use Magic Device. Again here, we're going to grab that combat trick. I love that. And at level 6, we actually grab Trip here. This is going to open us up to do some little fun stuff later on. So we grab that Trip. And as you can see also at this level, we will get our Hampering Injury, Uncanny Dodge, Debilitating Injury, Disorienting Injury, Bewildering, all those fun things that you get with your cool little rogue here. We're going to be using uh, Bewildering Injury because whenever we sneak attack them, it's going to make them uh, have a negative 2 to armor class, which is going to make us uh, be able to hit them easier. So we finished off our knife, knife Master Rogue. At level 7, we're going to go into Alchemist, the Vivisectionist. Here we're going to put points in Trickery perception for sure. You want to keep these two maxed. And then persuasion, I think, is pretty important too, above stealth. At level seven, we're going to grab Fury's Fall, which is going to allow us to use our dexterity bonus in addition to our strength bonus on our combat maneuver bonus for trips and stuff. So Fury's Fall. I don't know. Stone Fist. Who knows? Oh, level eight, we're going to go for that vivisectionist. We get that point for dexterity, which is going to give us some extra armor class, extra chance to hit here, extra damage. And we're going to go trickery, perception, persuasion, keeping that stealth up there as well. And we also get a, another combat trick here. So the combat trick we're going to take is uh, improved two-weapon fighting. We could get greater trip here. We'll get that next level, but improved two-weapon fighting is going to let us hit more often. Now, it's up to you here. Bark skin is not going to be useful for you, but it's up to you if you want to grab delay poison here, which is going to last you for an hour a level, or if you want to be more... Um, party oriented and wait till next level to get delay poison communal that's only 10 minutes um, i like to grab delay poison um, or resist energy for yourself because again it's 10 minutes per level bark skin does not stack with your other stuff you have aid is good it's going to give you a chance to hit much much better so at this level at level eight i would actually get delay poison just for yourself because you're not going to be wanting to get poisoned by some um spiders and whatnot at level nine we take vivisectionist again putting those points into trickery of course perception first then grabbing that stealth and maybe persuasion at level nine here, we grab Greater Trip. We really want Greater Trip and Trip and Fury's Fall because I like to build this build around that Cloak of the Winter Wolf, which you get at the bridge over the Gudrun River um, because that allows you to automatically at the end of every single one of your rounds, you get a free bite attack because of you having your feral mutagen and that bite will trip them and you get another attack of opportunity there. And later on, we're going to grab hammer the gap. And so you're going to be getting just attack after attack on these people. Greater trip is what we're grabbing here at level nine. So later on, we will be getting displacement, but blur is still 
really good and it lasts a lot longer than displacement, but maybe you need to be a little bit more tanky here. I think the resist energy is much better than protection from energy because resist energy um, is 10 minutes per level and it doesn't um, resist energy, unlike protection from energy, resist energy does not wear off at a certain threshold. So protection from energy only absorbs 100 points of damage, period. Pr resist energy actually um, will stop the first 10 damage of that energy for 10 minutes per level. So I like resist energy here. At level 10, we're gonna go for vivisectionist again, getting trickery, getting our stealth, our perception, and our persuasion. At level 10, of course, you guessed it, we're gonna go for feral wings because if people do come up and start attacking me, I've got feral wings on. It's plus three armor class bonus while being a tiny little halfling killer person guy. Here, I'm gonna grab aid. Uh, because it's plus one morale bonus on attack rolls and saves against fear, plus temporary hit points equal to 1d8, plus your caster level. So it would be an extra 18 hit points here and plus one to attack and some saves on fears. At level 11, we're going to grab that seventh level of vivisectionist, going for trickery, stealth, perception, and persuasion. At level 11, we're going to go for improved critical on the kukris. Uh, way down here, improved critical. We're going to open up on the kukris because I know it doesn't stack with keen, but it's great if you just have a plus one or a plus two kukri and you don't have anything that's fancy. Uh, the beloved level three, if you're looking for a little bit more uh, defense, displacement is great for you. It's a round per level. It's going to give them a better chance not to be killed. I like uh, heroism here. It's 10 minutes per level and it's plus two to attack rolls, saves, and skill checks. So the first thing we're going to grab right here is is heroism. At level 12, we're grabbing vivisectionist again, putting that point into dexterity, getting trickery, getting stealth, getting persuasion and perception. I want to see those traps. At level 12, we go for combat trick, and then we go down into critical focus. Critical focus here is going to give us a plus four circumstance bonus on attack rolls made to confirm our critical hit. We can grab haste, really easily. I want to get displacement before I forget about it. It's one of those things that does save your butt. Um, always have one of these things ready. Um, it's really helpful. I'm in here with my guy inside of the Temple of the Elk, level 12-ish area. You can see I am 8 plus 4 is 12. Look at my attack is 18 to 17. Arm class is 27. My uh, saving throws are 12, 20, and 7. Let's buff up real quick. We're going to throw on Heroism, of course. Uh, Expeditious Retreats. Throw on the Shields. Um, throw on the reduced person. Uh, that's going to make me shorter than I already am. Look at this. Ready? Ready? Shortness. Uh, and then we're going to throw on our mutagen dexterity. It's going to give us a little bit. Now, right now, my armor class is 34. Uh, but even if you want to pop a combat expertise and go for fighting defensively, that'll make me go up some higher um, chance over here. I want to kind of sneaky sneaky up on a guy over here if I can see him. I want to sneak attack at least one of these boys. Um, I do know that uh, the spiders over here have poison, so I'm just going to do that. The spiders are to our right, but uh, let's go over here and see if we can sneak sneak up on at least one of these guys. There's a guy right here. Can he Can you not detect me? I got some pretty high stealth. So, oh, how? Do, how? how do these guys, I mean, I got some boom. Okay, so we hit a critical hit 21. Can my name go away? That'd be good. If I can, there we go. So I'll click on somebody else and get my name away uh, and just start doing some work on these guys. Uh, they're 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 doing some stuff to me, but I'm, I've got the defensive fighting on um, And so if we look at the math here red cap trickster swings at me and misses me um, With a negative uh, my armor class is 39. So it looks like they hit me with a bewildering injury though um, It's not sure there I'm hitting them with a the bewildering injury or they're hitting me with the bewildering. I think they're hitting me. See right there, negative two, negative two. So I got sneak attacked twice. Yeah, so they uh, they stink in, well, I already killed one of their buddies, so I'm gonna keep going after the next one. But they hit me with some bewildering injuries, and I can't pull that down. So let's swing through these guys again. I I, I wish I can get, I, I hope in this next, um, the update DLC, that the enhanced edition, that they allow you to remove your, um, your heads up display, right? These guys are really swinging at me pretty hard. Again, I'm soloing this. Um, I'm hitting them with some critical hits. And man, every single thing I just hit on that guy was critical hit after critical hit. That was fun. Another critical hit, zero. Yes, that's that's what I want to see. So another cool thing is, is he's got some pretty high disarm. Um, 
my studded leather is actually taking away some of my, I got a negative one to my disarm and my trickery and stuff. But as you can see, my trickery is 27 and my stealth is 35. So yeah, uh, but let's go see if we can take care of this trap and not blow up while I'm recording this. Hey, I got it guys. I successfully disarmed the trap. I rolled a 47 on a 30. That could have been bad. Um, could have rolled a one. So we do know we have some spiders over here and uh, let's go for them real quick. One of the cool things is is I am level eight, so I could I could pop displacement before I go in, um, and have eight rounds of them having a 50% chance not to hit me. So it's kind of a defensive thing to do. I still have my shield up for five minutes, so I don't want to pop it over here while I'm in this wild energies area because I can't really cast a spell. So let's go over here and buff it up real quick before we mess up that for the video. Still in that wild energies. Let's keep going out of there. You got to remember that. You, you, you're you recording a video. You don't want to look like an idiot in front of everybody who watches you. I mean, I do. So let's go over here real quick. We've got displacement on. It's a 50% chance for them not to hit me. I've got 44 seconds. So uh, let me take my sweet time running over here. So one pr bad problem is, you know, having to have a foreknowledge of what you're going to attack and how you're going to attack it. So I'm starting off with 34 seconds, um, about six rounds of them not being able to hit me. I did sneak attack them for 45, 47 if I can do math, and 39 sneak attack, critical hit 57 sneak attack, uh, just just put him in the grave quickly, and let's see if we can get a bite off on this boy here, 42 sneak attack, 16 sneak attack, and then a bite, <laughs> and I tripped him, um, critical hit 34, 13, 19, 34 critical hit, Level 13, we go for that ninth level of vivisectionist here. We're gonna go for that trickery, stealth, perception, and persuasion, of course. And at level 13, we go for dodge because I've gotta wait for some another level to do something I need to do. But hey, plus one dodge armor class bonus here. Here, I'm gonna grab haste. I'm gonna use it a lot. It keeps me faster, makes me get another attack per round, and um, I get an extra attack roll or plus one to attack roll and another dodge armor class um, bonus. So that makes me do more damage, hit more often, uh, not miss as much, and have extra defense. So that's a great spell there. Level 14, we're going to take our 10th level of Vivisectionist. Stealth, Trickery, Persuasion, and Perception. I said those backwards because I do that often. Level 14, we're grabbing another combat trick here, and we are going to take Hammer the Gap. Um, you're going to be hitting like six or seven or eight or nine attacks per round at this point um, whenever you pop haste and everything. And so when you hit your ninth attack, you will be adding an extra nine damage on that last attack. Um, on your eighth attack, it'll be an extra eight damage. And it just keeps adding up because of consecutive hits against the same opponent if they survive. That's the cool thing. Spell level four. Death Ward is very important. Stone Skin is very important. Greater invisibility is very important. I think you want to save some hit point damage here, so I would go for stone skin first, and then I would go in and grab death ward, and then I would grab greater invisibility. You also get poison immunity here, so that's good. Level 15, you're going to get uh, your 11th level of vivisectionist, trickery, stealth, perception, persuasion. At level 15, we grab greater two-weapon fighting. We are now hitting a whole bunch of hits. Hitting them a lot. Again, now we're gonna grab Death Ward. It's gonna keep us from getting death attack spells. It's gonna we're good. We're not gonna we're not gonna have negative energy drain, negative channeled energy, all that kind of stuff. Um, and it's plus more plus four morale bonus on saves against all death spells and magical death effects. Death ward. Level 16, we're taking that 12th level of vivisectionist, putting that point into actually intelligence at level 16, and uh, because you're going to need that to cast some spells up to level 20. Again, I'm building this guy for the um, Beneath the Stolen Lands continuing DLC. At level 16, we're going to go for greater mutagen. It's going to make our dexterity bonus and our natural armor class bonus go up whenever we pop our mutagen. We, we get really untouchable and doing a lot of damage here. Here, I'm going to go for that greater invisibility. Greater invisibility, when you pop that thing, you just keep doing sneak attacks as long as you want to. It's, it's great. We get our grand our greater mutagen right here. Level 17, we're grabbing that 13th level of vivisectionist. And again, we're going for trickery, stealth, perception, persuasion. We want to see those traps. We want to be able to disarm them. We want to be sneaky. I like this build. 17th level, we go for Weapon Focus Kukri because we're running out of things to get. And this is plus one chance to hit people with our Kukri. At level five, we're going to get the only spell we need is Spell Resistance. The other ones are trash. We don't need those. 
spell resistance. Okay, so for the same bit, uh, when I hit level 17, 13 plus 4, uh, my armor class with my mutagen now puts me at 38. My attack is 26, 21, 16, 25, 20, and 15. And my reflex is 27. It's crazy. Fortitude, will is trash, but whatever. I popped on aid, death ward, my spell resistance, stone skin, heroism, my wings, my expeditious retreat, and shield. And... Um, it's a lot more uh, damaging, a lot more, a lot more beefy whenever he he swings here. Uh, except for I didn't get a sneak attack there for some reason. But the critical hits. Whenever I um, hit a critical, uh, I'm gonna confirm it and I'm gonna kill him because I have critical focus and uh, I have um, this armor on. Uh, which is the Assassin's Chain Cert, uh, plus four bonus on critical confirmation rolls. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to crit. If I ever, um, you know, hit within my range of 15 to 20, I'm going to crit. I'm going to do a lot of crits and all the time. These stone golems are fun to attack if I don't miss this. Come on. Oh, there we go. 50, 66 critical hit sneak attack. That's what we want to hear. That guy just one more hit. Oh, okay. 57 right there. 66 and 57. He went down... Too quickly. Didn't even get to really see that happen. There's another one. Come over here, buddy. Come here. How you doing? I missed him. Okay. Eight, four. Critical hit again. Get out of there, thing. All right. Bite. Okay. Ten, four, twenty-seven, th six. I like those numbers. Thirty-one. I saw thirty-one in there. Don't act like you weren't in there. Thirty-one. So I know that there's some tricksters here and some Dwemer, Dwem, Dwemer, Dwemer cats. So here I am definitely going to uh, pop open a can of haste on myself, and then displacement, and then my greater invisibility, which is gonna let me sneak attack over and over and over again. So we're gonna go for the Dwemer Cats first and uh, do some work on him, hopefully. So you will see 52 sneak attack. Can I get to where y'all can see this? There we go. Uh, 50, what was that? 75 damage. So I did 52 and then I did 75 damage. Okay. We will take that. We will take that damage. Let's go for this other Dwemer cat right here. If we can hit him, if we can get to that guy. No. Change to him. There we go. 40, 53, 61. I, I, okay. I killed him. He's gone. Red cap savage. Boom. Critical hits. 19, 14. I still have a minute left on greater invisibility. Still, just keep going at him. Boom, boom. I love it. I love sneak attacks. I kind of, I really, really like this guy. I like him. Um, yeah. So let me, let me, let me just finish this video then. At level 18, we're grabbing that 14 level of detectionist, trickery, stealth, perception, persuasions. Persuasions, persuade them. 18, we go for that combat trick, and we're gonna go down here and we're gonna grab tiring critical. Tiring critical is actually make them take away um, one strength, or sorry, two strength and two dexterity. So that's gonna be uh, either one of their chances to hit you. So it's gonna take away an attack bonus from them, and it's gonna take a piece of their armor class away, and it's good. So tiring, tiring, tiring critical. Yeah. Here, we don't need any other spells of fifth level, so we're gonna open up our spells and grab something else. False life greater is awesome because you get uh, 20 plus, you can have an extra 40 hit points here. False life greater lasts forever and it's awesome. So don't look for other stuff, just, just get false life greater. That's all you need. Level 19, we go for that 15th level of vivisectionist. Stealth, trickery, perception, persuasion. See them traps, disarm them traps. Just un undo the traps, disarm them all. 19th level, we go for toughness because I've got nothing else I can really do and it gives us extra hit points. So we'll take it. Here I prefer to get echolocation. It's a 10 minute per level spell and it gives you blind sight to a range of 40 feet. And at level 20, we're gonna take our 16th level of vivisectionist, putting that point into intelligence, of course. We're gonna go for trickery, stealth, perception, and persuasion. Now we got a lot more intelligence here or a lot more skill points. So you definitely want to put all your stuff into use magic device here at level 20. Um, if they increase the level cap later on, that'll be even better. You can keep going for stuff there. Uh, the intelligence here is going to let us cast spells of 15th and 16th level. And at level 20, we go for grand mutagen. Grand mutagen is now going to have an eight plus eight to dexterity. Okay. Plus eight to dexterity um, or strength, whatever you want to use. Now at this level, you can either choose dragon kind one, which is a minute per level or transformation. I prefer transformation because it's gonna give you more natural armor class bonus and it's gonna give you the exact same attacks per round as if you were a 20th level fighter, 
okay? So I would use a greater extend rod and use transformation here and pop it as your last thing you use before you go kill everybody. We get our grand mutagen here and we get transformation. 